Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Softcore Brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6. With a slightly different party, finally have Fluttershy in it. And Pinkie Pie as well, cause, uh, well, we're gonna go meet her sister and she kind of needs to be there. So just like before, I have the Reflect Rings up to protect me from, well, not the enemies in the immediate town area, but we're gonna be going into the mines, so we're gonna need that. Uh, yeah, Twilight, back guard, probably don't need that, but, in fact, actually, once we do get to the mines, I'm gonna take that off and give her a peace ring, now that I think about it. Uh, yeah, Trixie will be fine. I mean, one out of four, that's, that's not terrible odds. Ah, come on, Trixie! I guess I could use Fiery Frenzy while I'm here. I mean, she can get... Uh, what is it? Sun Bath, there we go, just like that. That's what I was hoping for. I think that's her second most common one with that. It's pretty good for that. I don't, and of course, you know, I can still kill everything around with level four flare, so awesome. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Trixie has her usual uh, lower magic, and I have weapons, kind of just because I don't really need that, but it's there. She doesn't really need anything else at the moment, so... I mean, I suppose she could use emulate, but she doesn't need that right, right now, so... Anyway, bypassing everything and, and going up this way, where there are still more random encounters. I don't know, Pinky and Fluttershy are actually pretty far from getting a level up. It's probably, they're probably not going to get one anytime soon. Anyway, unlike the beginning of the game, the save point is here, and also unlike the original, uh, there is a save point here. <laughs> there wasn't in the World of Ruin, but there is now if you need it. So anyway, we need to go this way because there's nothing up north. And now we got these guys, Mag Rotors. They can do nasty, I think, what is it, like Fire 3 and whatnot. Yeah, otherwise, a little more flare, just like everything else around here. And, well, I'm something for it's not bad, but whatever. Yeah, they are immune to fire, which I believe is new. Or, those two in the front anyway absorb fire, but otherwise everything basically dies to the more flare, so whatever. Oh, except for you. Yeah, I should be throwing stuff if you don't kill yourself. Oh, you can't kill yourself. Never mind. <laughs> I misremembered. I thought he died in level 4 flare too, but maybe I had a jeweled ring along equipped, not the reflect ring in my previous test runs. Yeah, still need those ninja stars just a little bit there. But I'll try to get stronger as time goes on. Oh, I have the party cannon. Oh, that'll work. I didn't realize that that's what I had equipped, but yeah, that'll work just fine. It won't do that much damage, but hey, good enough, good enough, that should do it. Perfect. And yeah, Twilight get a little bit of healing in there. Unfortunately, I can't rely on Pinky healing me every single time. I suppose, actually, I could have, well, no, Trixie would have to heal herself then, but... I could have Trixie do that. I mean, that is like the one use of the Alicorn skills, but I would just make the battles take longer. And it's easy enough just to heal my MP later. So, plus it's going to be a save point later on anyway. Little more magic power for Trixie with a level up there. Nice. Could be useful. Another level and more magic power for Twilight. Awesome. She's got a uh, pretty astounding magic stat right now. 63. Once she hits like the 70, she can pretty much heal the party just with the basic cure spell. It's pretty crazy there. Anyway, we've come up this way before in search of Pinky. And in this area, we also have kind of a new background here with the... Well, that. Oh, I forgot I was going to give Twilight the... Peace ring. Whoops. Don't use Discord on me, please. 
Yeah, that'll work just fine. And thank you for doing it on some pony who actually had protection against that. How can you get to go twice in a row, by the way? That's not fair. Wow. Good thing you had good evasion. That was kind of crazy, but anyway, I'm we're watching this because the background here is icy. And this is the last background that Pinky needs to learn her final theme. Which is the holy elemental theme and the best among all of her uh, various themes there. Oh, ooh, skills, skills, skills. Yeah, Cosmic Light. This one also uh, can give Sun Bath. That's another reason. That's actually one of the only reasons. It's one of the better ones. <laughs> I'll probably use that instead of this since there's actually enemies around who are strong against uh, fire, weirdly. In a nice area. I'm giving you the peace ring, but I'm probably going to be changing your equipment in just a moment anyway because wandering around here somewhere. Where is he? Thank you, Pinky. She healed us after all. And where is he? There should be someone wandering around here, but where is he? Uh, did, where'd he, where'd he go? What? Oh, there he is. It's like, what? I, 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 <laughs> dude, just run away. I don't want to, good grief. Fighting way too much. Okay. Let's heal up the party and change up my equipment real quick. Shall we? <laughs> Alrighty, I have the whole party now re equipped for uh, ice elemental protection uh, specifically. The sapphire ring protects against ice, remember. And Pinky with her old chaos dice party cannon setup, which. Should I ban that? I mean, my gosh, that is powerful. <laughs> Anyway, Trixie with the gold hairpin, and actually, I think she doesn't have the right... Yeah, she doesn't have the right Esper. I want you to have uh, Masquerade. I was so busy setting up everyone else's Espers that I didn't do Trixie's. Twilight has Spike, just kind of because. Fluttershy has Gusty, kind of just because. And Pinky has Wind Whistler, kind of just because there. As, uh, and otherwise, we're all healed. Pinky actually healed us with her uh, holy party theme there. And now we got this guy wandering around, who we can fight optionally. Another of the eight wraths, Charlatan. I think it's King Charlatan, if I'm not mistaken. And would you please, Trixie, summon, protect us, please. And yeah, let's Gusty. Get a Whistler in there just in case. And Twilight, go ahead and summon Spike to just beat the crap out of old King Charlatan there. He uh, absorbs ice and is immune to water, and otherwise, yeah, Trixie, go ahead and Dark Demon in order to become immune to instant death specifically and anything else that might come about. Uh, off screen, I did buy a bunch, where are they, of uh, flame sabers. I do want to do this on him. And he fights. And, yeah, Twilight, eventually I was going to start casting Flare, but this will just help speed things up. And otherwise he's weak to fire, but I don't care because his magic defense is so high that non-elemental attacks work better. Or, uh, defense ignoring attacks work better. Snowball, that will cast... Well, Cutter HP in half, but it only hit Twilight for some reason. And, yeah, Flare, and we're basically just gonna keep this up for the rest of the battle. Oops, flare, 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 there it is. And Trixie, just be ready to do something again. Might just do that preemptively, in fact. In fact, yeah, let's summon preemptively just in case. Buttershot, shot, doing the flame saber. Because that ignores defense. And I think it's a little damage boost as well, so that's really nice. Because when she throws elemental sabers, it has the element attached to it, so that's really, well, as I just said, nice! That should still be able to affect Pinky. Cut her HP in half, that's kind of why I have the regen. Anyway, Charlatan here... Well, he's a penguin! His ambition is to turn the world to ice, because he's a penguin! <laughs> Not really much else to say about him. I mean, he was kind of an odd villain in G1, honestly. I did say he was one of the eight Rast, didn't I? 
but uh, yeah, he's just his ambition is just to turn the world to ice and snow because I guess penguins rule over ice and snow and all that. So okay, uh, Osmo is just gonna because and keep throwing those flame savers. Yeah, he wasn't even defeated in the traditional sense. Uh, basically, he, well, among his abilities to create ice and snow, I forget exactly how that works. But he, wow, Pinky, you are not getting good dice rolls at all. But yeah, among his, his abilities, he could turn individuals to ice, basically. I don't actually recall what he does when he does this. Guess we'll find out. Hope it's nothing bad. Oh, Pinky has seizure. Good thing she has regen. Maybe I should have her heal herself or something, or have Twilight Healer. But he's probably getting pretty close to dying, honestly. Okay, he counters with Snowball, but I don't really care. And yeah, just get a basic cure spell on Pinky, that's good enough. Your magic power is so ridiculously high. And just actually summon preemptively, just in case of whatever, because it's gold axe. Because that attack actually does a lot of damage right there, Flipper. But yeah, basically, uh, Charlotte's in there. He accidentally froze his son, who was the only one in his kingdom who was against him taking over the world, and it basically just crushed his spirit. Because <laughs> it was supposed to be irreversible, but of course, I forget his tears or something. Unfrozen, I don't exactly recall. Anyway, Pinky, you make battling everything so easy, and so do you, Trixie. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm still not quite over my cold there, so Pinky learned to spell. I'm actually not worried about her and Fluttershy learning spells anymore, so. Speaking of which. Oh, and for defeating Charlotte, we get the Crystal Lance, which is the ultimate weapon for Flash Century, which is actually kind of a lackluster weapon compared to most of the other characters' ultimate weapons. <laughs> yeah, we get... Uh, every pony gets an a ultimate weapon of sorts, so... in Flashes is... well... It's just a lance that raises his steel rate. That's cool. And it has the auto evasion, so... Yeah, that's actually pretty nice there. I don't have to have the other uh, sneak ring on whenever I have this, so... And then plus it raises his vigor and speed, and I should say notably it raises his vigor because, for example, Rainbow Dash's ultimate weapon does not raise her vigor. Although I think hers raises her evasion by a lot more, if, not, if I remember correctly. And also he gets to learn Cyclone, the ultimate wind elemental spell. Not that I care, since he's a physical character and all that, but hey, it's there. So, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't even have like a... I don't think it has a 25% proc. Most of the other weapons do. Oh man, I'm losing my voice now. Anyway, I want to re-equip my uh, previous setup for an, a moment, and I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, I have Fluttershy equipped with the stealth, mostly because there's not really anything else that raises either her magic set and, or vigor. I mean, she doesn't have any other equipment that raises her vigor until she gets her ultimate weapon, basically. And I... You know, I could appreciate the evasion and speed boost. Well, actually, this gives me an equivalent speed boost anyway. But yeah, I could appreciate the evasion boost. But hey, the extra magic power, her animal friends will do a little bit more damage that way. So anyway, I guess I could use it. Hmm, Pinky learned haste too. Sweet. And those wizards can also cast mute. There's like no enemy ever that can just cast mute by itself. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, I forgot to give back her floors there, so my bad. <laughs> Sheesh. So yeah, we got a uh, nice save point there, so tents. I did buy a few more off screen at some point with uh, Celestia, since, you know, she can get a discount and all that. Alright, awesome. I don't even know when the last time I saved with this party, or, er, well, regular, used the regular save, anyway. So, and up here, it's the Esper. But before we talk to the Esper, I want to rearrange my equipment slightly again. Alrighty, I'm all set and ready to go. A little bit more, uh, I guess you could say, lenient this time. Got Fluttershy with the Hero Ring and Jeweled Ring. 
interestingly enough, and I suppose maybe I should have said, if you didn't have an extra gold hairpin back there, then just give Twilight a jeweled ring, you know, for the fight against Charlatan and all that. Otherwise, I have Trixie actually equipped with Spike, and Twilight, I don't care. I'm practically done with Surprise, so almost got bolt three, but anyway, Esper! But this time, we fight a really, really easy fight against a, well, enemy that actually has, like, obscene defense, but has such pitiful magic defense, it's not even funny. So I'm actually going to use my leftover flame edges against you, and actually use the regular fire, too, because this can do way more damage than flare for once. And I don't have my summon command. Oh, well, this is going to be dead in, like, after, just between Pinky and Trixie anyway, so. Seriously, this fight is just pathetic, how she'll try to rasp you and otherwise use, like, ice on you, which is kind of odd considering what kind of Esper she is, but, uh, yeah. Is she an alicorn? She looks like she has a horn and wings. Huh. I never noticed that before. I don't really ever use her as an Esper in herself because Spike is so much better and all that, but yeah, she doesn't have that much HP. <laughs> I killed her with just Trixie and Pinky before, <laughs> but yeah, that's a really pathetic fight. I don't know why she has such pitiful magic defense. I guess because she has such in insane physical defense. You saw Pinky only do one point of damage there. I think she has perfect physical defense, but Naturalite for bolt three, whoop de doo I did! Weren't you trying to get out, though? Ponies. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of been going on. You're a little late on that. Ah, awesome! And this is a really good one. Not really so much for the Esper itself, because, like I said, Spike is just better than Sparkler, which is not the same Sparkler from G4. I'm... Off the top of my head, I'm not sure if this character was in the show or not. I don't recall a character named Sparkler. But might have been in some other very G1 variation of sorts. But this is an important Esper. One, because, uh, well, yeah, three tags would be due. It's the only Esper that gives us magic power plus two, which is awesome. The other reason is because Meteor, which is way better than these. I don't even care about these. I care about Meteor. I'm losing this as soon as I freaking can. And let's see. How close are you going? These are so close. But in any case, now that we've defeated uh, Sparkler, we now have a new path that has opened up. And this will lead to the next dungeon, next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Arrivederci!